Hello, good afternoon everybody. Thanks for joining me. Today I would like to focus a bit of my knowledge which I have gained by studying the by studying various literature in uh, sociological experimentation and uh, sociological theory. I would like to deal with a concept or uh, known as tea room trade. Tea room trade is a sociological concept basically dealing with gay lifestyle. So before starting this concept, I would first like to introduce uh, a few basic uh, measures like uh, what is sociology and how is the subject perceived by many people. And uh, moreover, I would like to discuss uh, Lord Humphrey's tea room trade book in a very precise manner rather than focusing on, in, on it in an elaborative way and uh, describing the book and the review about it. Oh, I would like to deal more about elaborately on uh, the concept of tea room. Tea room trade is the name of the book. Tea room is the concept, right? So starting with uh, what is sociology? Basically, what is sociology? Sociology is a scientific study of human societies, conflicts, tensions, structure of human society, anything which is related with the society and consists persistently of a human society, right? So uh, we all live in a world which is uh, today marked by various tensions, conflicts, and ambitions about the future and the upcoming events. I mean, like we are in, uh, in a decade which, and in a decade which has an advancement level which our uh, ancestors could not even imagine. Like uh, the way I'm representing myself through this video, I'm representing and producing my views through this video. Our ancestors would have never thought about it. And even me, considering my age and my, obviously I'm getting old, uh, considering my age and uh, my uh, uh, academic background, I would uh, say that uh, doing such an uh, online exercise would I would have never thought about it. Right? Uh, so society is directed towards what the cultures, the queries, and everything. So, so this all, uh, let's say, sociology as a subject is a scientific study of human life, social groups, and as a whole society. Right? I have made three points over here: human life, then is social groups, and societies and human worlds as a whole. So, so, what is human life? Sociology deals with. What is a social group? Sociology deals with. What is a society as a whole and human world? Sociology deals with. Three different, uh, let's call them uh, vocabulary words, three different uh, perceptions, three different uh, diversified ways of, of uh, getting into the idea of uh, sociology. Uh, so, uh, human world, we know that the world we live in, the globalized human world. Right, with World War One, World War Two, and then the uh, Cold War and everything. Such events happened, right? Like where we study Manu and uh, Arti in India as the founders for the human race, and we study Adam and Eve for the founders in the West of human race. That that is what consists of a human world. Coming to societies, more important, more important is society. What kind of society do can we imagine? Society basically in sociology refers to a place, a safer place where a human exists. Human existence matters. Like human world I have described is society is the sub part of that human world. So what is the so word social group describing human? Social group is a subcategory of society. A human in a community, how he represents himself, and how he directs his future in that particular community is what matters in sociology. So I have also used uh, a word over here which I should think, which I think I should explain in a more elaborative manner. And I'm, to be precise, I was thinking about this word, word uh, in the past few days, discussed, debating it with another friend of mine. Community. So what is community? I will give a definition in a very sophisticated manner of uh, a, a sophisticated manner describing the word community. Right? Community is a space 
वेयर पीपल और लेट से स्पेसिफाइंग इट ह्यूमंस और सोशल ग्रुप्स एज आई हैव डिस्क्राइब ह्यूमंस सोशल ग्रुप्स एंटर इनटू दैट फ्री स्पेस एंड वर्क फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द कम्युनिटी और दैट पर्टिकुलर सोशल ग्रुप अबव द बेनिफिट oh i'm sorry 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 i mean the benefit of the community as a whole and not of the social individual specifically right so these are the things these are the certain uh, kinds of diversities we find in sociology as a subject which it deals with and uh, moreover uh, sociology is also a scientific study why we call this uh, why we use this term scientific in sociology and um, as more uh, like in political then science political and science and uh, why we use this words in uh, in this uh, more critical subjects uh, uh, social sciences why why sciences sciences because these subjects deal with the empiricity the facts of human world human societies right the existence of human the research activities and everything else is what is based on this empiricity of this word word science which is used as a value for facts right so much said about sociology let's move on to you now so uh, i was uh, like going with uh, going in a way to explain the room but uh, first i would like to justify my view point from the idea of lord humphreys a uh, tea room trade book which he published in uh, around late 1960s which was a research experiment of this tea room the word tea room is separate and word tea room trade is separate tea room trade is a book which lord humphrey has written humphrey was a american sociologist who worked in a critical who worked upon uh, critical researches of tea room and gay sexuality or let's call the the uh, homosexuality part of the societies of human and described it in various uh, research papers and everything which you can find it online if you want to study it further and also i will be providing the link for the book tea room trade in the description you can find it in the description okay so uh, uh, this uh, tea room uh, t- uh, word is what emerges as a common dictionary meaning for it would be that a place where to where a particular particularly humans uh, gather or engage themselves into the social activities like having a coffee uh, with someone or uh, having a tea with someone so this word is known as tea room tea room right so uh, lord humphrey's experiment uh, was based on a uh, research which he conducted on uh, conducted in in the st louis missouri you say usa united states of america which now is in crisis and i cannot say the united states of america for this country now so uh, he says that the public utility, utility or the convenience or the public toilet specifically for males he is considering only male over here no not lesbian or anything else only gay study so uh, this uh, public convenience on uh, public toilet in st louis public park uh, where particularly men of different categories and uh, different uh, belonging to different backgrounds let's say and moreover uh, uh, coming in, into a form of a different uh, formal or informal activities for earning and everything else i mean there was a diversity of men which were entering this uh, particular toilet like for example he he has observed a baseball uh, he has observed a man wearing proper suit and boots and you know proper formal dresses and entering it into that public utility and he also observed a ba- a person with a baseball cap in a uh, dressed up in a baseball dressed up with a baseball cap wearing it and entering it and also uh, uh, let's say a uh, a person with wearing a gara- ga- garage uniform who has been wearing cars all day whole day and now entering this uh, public uh, utility in the evening time so uh, what was so special about this uh, thing you know about this uh, public utility 
Excusez. Coffee is what I'm living on now. So, uh, what was so special about this public utility? Uh, there were other toilets available. Why? I mean, USA was an advanced nation uh, during 1960s when this research was conducted, and obviously, public conveniences were available everywhere in and public spaces. I use the word public space over here, and I uh, want to elaborate on that, but I cannot resist myself from going there. Public space basically is a space where which has been uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, holding a distinguishing identity with the, what Marx, Marx, uh, Karl Marx uh, dis describe it as public space and what we people perceive it as a public space. Uh, the government owned spaces or the people owned spaces are public spaces but private spaces in contrast are something which is owned by a different set of class, class people. Ease, emphasis added class class of people all right so uh, so what was so special about this uh, toilet thing uh, or the public utility thing which the guys were uh, from different categories or backgrounds were entering and uh, you know engaging themselves for around uh, a time span of one or two hours or sometimes for just for five five to twenty minutes and then, and then exiting out ex exiting out right so uh, Humphrey says that one basic thing which he observed while conducting research, his research mythology was on a very broad manner, critic was uh, critically observed and you know critically reflected, his uh, ethics were questioned, his research idea was questioned because he did this activity by entering into that public utility and you know judging people or the judging men basically who were there on without the informed consent of those men. So what he comes out uh, with a with a uh, what he comes out with, <laughs> with a theory uh, is that the people were having instant sex over there. These men were engaged in instant sex. What is the term uh, instant sex reflects over here? I mean uh, something which these gay men were hiding from their uh, normal life, normal uh, life interactions, and doing it in uh, a private space, which was public utility, private space, and a public space. Private space, public space, public space, which has a private space for this particular group of men who are gay and engaging in private pri instant sex. Right. So. Uh, Irrespective of their marital status, but of this. So, uh, I would like now to go further and say okay, this gay sex was anonymous without any commitment and in those three categories was describing this gay sex going on in uh, St. Louis Park in uh, USA uh, in a public utility or convenience or a toilet where these people were engaging into gay sex which was anonymous, instant and without any commitment. Commitments are something which human uh, has always been afraid of. I, I specifically say that okay, you and I am, obviously, I'm a human. Be that I behave as a robot, but anyways. So, so this uh, uh, idea of tea room comes over here now. Uh, the, the idea of the origin of the word tea room or taken as a word for gay instant sex in a public utility or uh, uh, in a public space is used in during the 1960s in USA in US in the USA uh, describing the space of this instant instant gay sex as tea room right so this was a term introduced by the gay themselves that the word tea room came into form so, uh, but uh, this word is limited to its geographical extent. I mean, uh, in a geographical extent, I mean that it is only used in uh, USA, in the United States, that uh, only the word tea room introduced in the, in the US and being used for gay instant sex in a public space, specifically in US. And uh, if I take the example of uh, another Western uh, 
luxurious or let's say the well established advanced nation united kingdom the word cottaging c o double t a g i n g cottaging is used in uk this is a gay slang term referring to anonymous gay sex between men in a public space or a laboratory right his its origin is also in uk by origin i mean the etymology uh, etymology of the word uh, cottaging comes from uk and uh, describes the gay sex in a public space anonymous gay sex in a public space between men happening right so till now i have uh, discussed the i have given a very kind of a broad or instant uh, reflection on the idea of uh, uh, communities idea of sociology idea of tea room uh, the tea room trade the book introduced book written by lord hamphrey and uh, now i would like to go into the go into a manner of describing the uh humphrey's uh, con- conclusions or humphrey's uh, idea or humphrey's uh, direction of uh, basically conclusion or like like say called a uh, theoretical aspect which he introduced like which which he called tea room trade and uh, the word trade was added to tea room right so this is becomes a concept the word tea room trade becomes a concept which humphrey introduced so uh, book book was itself controversial that i told you because of the research methodology used by humphrey and uh, it was uh, like just because humphrey did not had an informed consent with the people he on of the people on which on the people of uh, on the gay men uh, which he whom uh, he was uh, basically studying so it becomes uh, a very controversial uh, aspect that uh, in sociological experimentation that you do not have a informed consent and you are conducting a research on the person so it is like something which affects the you know idea of uh, research basic idea of research and ethics come into the question so he says that men find ways to engage themselves into i am reading the version is written in that book i am hashtag quoting quoting and decoding so uh, he uses that that men find ways to engage themselves in embarrassing behaviors that will not harm their normal lives right so uh, we know that embarrassing behaviors over here refers to the gay sexuality which obviously in the past decades of 1960s or so Uh, in early 90s or late 90s was still a very you know a uh, objectionable and a questionable aspect and was thoroughly contradictory but slowly it became acceptable in the society which we are not going to engage in a kind of that debate over here right now but i would like to again once see this a small instant line of which which humphrey has uh, you know written in his book he says that men find ways to engage in embarrassing behaviors which is gay sex that will not harm their normal lives now normal lives what he means by normal lives is not written is not mentioned by him or let's say it's not explained by him but is left upon us to think and question and it is no, now it is like something which we can say the people next door now if i live uh, in an apartment and in my neighborhood a person lives who believes that his sexuality is gay is homosexuality or he perceives or, or he practices homosexuality just because he is naturally born so or he has inclination towards men does not uh, specifying the idea of normal life so much but normal life is like daily going to office and then coming back from work and having a sip of coffee or tea sitting with your partner talking over it and you know the like we say the basic uh, term in uh, hindu mythology or mentioned in rig veda is the grist ashram grist avastha uh, mentioned in rig veda is what normal life me- means right basically so not going to the far ahead of this discussion. so Uh, another point which humphrey mentions is the persecution of gay lifestyle 
in USA way back. Or let's let's not uh, restrict ourselves in thinking uh, of uh, just of uh, the United States experiment, but uh, as a whole in this globalized world in the past decades of 90s or the early 20, early 2000. Early, yeah. So the the uh, word is the persecution of this gay sex or homosexuality in certifying way makes the person makes the person practicing it makes men more anguished towards the society and the existence for them becomes little way tougher than tough way tough than anything else could be right so what humphrey concludes uh, through his uh, book tea room trade is that we should have tolerance for the subculture now he uses the term tolerance or tolerance is if i if i you uh, know uh, translate this word for my hindi language or my indian viewers i will say uh, tolerance is sahanshilta, the way, the the power, basically the power of how, power of how well and how much you can accept the aspect of a different, differentiated idea of sexuality or sex in a common or general way. Right? To which level, to which extent you can accept that idea is what tolerance is what specifying here in the context of tea room trade and now he says the tolerance for gay subculture subculture culture is what culture is basically a term which say which can be described in in a manner that in so human societies uh, the the people belonging to that particular or the specific human society as i have started as, as at the beginning i have distinct, distinguished and altered the manner of society uh, the definition of society and everything, uh, not going back there and uh, emphasizing here for culture. People uh, belonging to that human society adopt to certain lifestyle that is a culture. That lifestyle is a culture, right? So, in a normal life culture, normal lifestyle culture, which I just described as Humphrey hasn't in his book, normal lifestyle culture has a subculture which is homosexuality or gay sex and we need tolerance right so uh, i guess uh, i should come to the conclusion now and and, and uh, video is already being uh, too long and you might be getting bored by it so we have an idea of tiru that is a term used by gay people in the united states of america we have a similar term cottaging for the people practicing gay sex in uh, United Kingdom and uh, we have uh, a term tea room trade which is a concept into, uh, made uh, popular by Lord Humphrey, uh, American sociologist in uh, 1960s decade yeah. and uh, thereby you know more uh, giving us the power to imagine and tolerate the opposite part of the homosexuality which is but obvious a natural phenomena and should be treated as a natural phenomena and be accepted with the acceptance of it being a natural phenomenon. You cannot question one's sexuality. It depends upon a person what he thinks, what he has. It is inborn. Right. So, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please share your comments and reviews. Thank you so much.